Thank you, Jesus. Well, hallelujah, we made it another week. Hallelujah, glory yes. to God. But we give God all the praise. We give God all the glory. I thank God for just pastor praying that prayer today. Hallelujah. Because how many know that we can spend time in prayer? Hallelujah. Amen. That it's time to spend time worshiping and praising the Lord for his goodness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap your hands, all ye people. Hallelujah. Amen. Shout out to God. With hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Amen. We honor God this morning because he is good. Hallelujah. Not only on a good day, but on a bad day. Hallelujah. Right. He's still God. Glory to God. Amen. And we praise him. Once again, welcome. Welcome to Save to Serve Ministries. We thank you for being here with us on this uh, virtual platform. You could have been anywhere else, but you decided that I'm going to participate with Save to Serve Ministries on today. Amen. And notice I said participate. So I need you to clap your hands at home. I need you to raise them and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because we're all in this together. Glory Amen. to God. Hallelujah. I was praying on Friday and I said, Lord, give every church a Pentecostal experience on Sunday. Glory to God. A Pentecostal experience is that they was in one place with one mind on one accord. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. How many know we can be on one accord with the clapping of our hands, with the fruit of our lips? Amen. Hallelujah. Giving God the praise and giving God the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I just want to give honor to my husband. Glory to God. I thank God for just this time that he has given us uh, to be together almost 10 years. Glory to God. We've had some ups and some downs and we've almost been leveled to the ground. Hallelujah. But we thank God that we are still here. Glory to God. And we understand that if we put God first, everything else will line up in the name of Jesus. So Amen. we Amen. thank God. Hallelujah. For uh, being able to celebrate 10 years of the Lord say the same on December 20th. Glory to God. Amen. I just want to open up in a word of prayer and then we're going to go ahead and get into the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we bless you today for your goodness and for your mercy, oh God. Father God, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for counting me worthy, oh God, to be before your people, oh God. Father God, I pray, oh God, that flesh will not glory in thy sight, but you, God, take the wheel, God. You have your way, God, and speak through me, God, I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, you know there's some people close to my heart today, God, that are in the hospital, God. And Father God, some are battling with cancer, God. But Lord, I believe this is the hour where you said signs and wonders shall follow them that Amen. believe, oh God. That we can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover, oh God. So I lift up Raji today, God. I lift up Charles today, God. I lift up Jackie today, God. And I lift up Carolyn today, God. And I'm asking, oh God, Jesus, that you would heal their bodies, oh God. Lord, I'm asking that you would go into the room where they lay or stand, oh God, and breathe on them today in the name Amen of Jesus, Jesus, oh God. I lift up Brother Donald today, God. Touch him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, oh God. I lift up Sister Stacy today, God. Hallelujah. Heal her and she shall be healed, God. Father God, I pray, God, over the bodies now, God, that are dealing with sickness and illness, oh God. For you sent your word, oh God, to heal all our diseases, and we thank you for it in the the name of Jesus, and it is so. Amen. Once again, I want to honor God for being the head of my life, and I want to honor my husband again, who has worked so diligently to keep saved, to serve ministries going. Glory to God. I appreciate him. I thank him. He is my prayer partner. He is my best friend. Glory to God. And I give a God the, all the praise for bringing him into my life. So again, I honor you, Pastor January, Amen. Mervyn January, my love. I love you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We'll be coming from uh, Psalms 107, 108 today. So Psalms 107, verses 1 through 8. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. If you have your Bibles, we ask that you would read along with us. Praise the Lord. Again, Psalms 107. Y'all know I'm trying to get technical, te have, have a little sobby, I guess, <laughs> with my uh, technical issues here. Pastor is the expert, or the expert on this, so <laughs> I'm trying. But nevertheless, I would like to start off reading again Psalms 107 for your hearing, verses 1 through 8. Our key verse will be the 8th verse. And here it says in Psalms 107, 
Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. His mercy. How many know that we on mercy time right now? That God's mercy endures forever. Verse 2 says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Anybody been redeemed from some enemies? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we're giving God thanks this morning because his mercy endured forever and he's redeemed us from the hand of the enemy. And three says, and gather them out of the lands from the east, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Glory to God. And the fourth verse said, they wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. My God. Where were you when Jesus found you? My God. Come on. Where were you? Hallelujah. Were Hallelujah. you wandering? Were you wondering what was going on? You was over in the south, the east, the west, and the north. Glory to God. Woo! But then the fifth verse says, hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Woo! Once again, where were you when Jesus found you? Were you hungry? Were you thirsty? Were you fainting like if God, if you don't do it, it won't be done? And then the sixth verse says, then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. And he delivered them out of all their distresses. Woo! Glory to God. Have you ever just cried out to God? Just let it all out. Hallelujah. And God delivered you out of your distresses. Glory to God. And the seventh verse says it like this. And he led them forth by the right way. Woo! Glory to God. You ever been with some people and they led you by the wrong way? <laughs> but God says here in the seventh verse that I led them forth by the right way. That they may go to a city of habitation. It's something when God has mercy upon you. Glory to God. And he takes you and puts you in the place where you belong. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so our key verse today is Psalms 107, the eighth verse. And it says, oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to Monique January. Uh huh. Put your name in there for his wonderful works to Mervyn January. Uh huh. For his wonderful works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. That he's shown to the children of men. Now, we just read Psalms 107, 1 through 8. But what I like to say is before we even got to the eighth verse, he told us why we should praise him. He told us why, because a lot of us was in sin. A lot of us, of us was in some dark moments. A lot of us, hallelujah, didn't know if we would be here right now in 2021. Man. And so he told them that even though you were faint and you were in distress and you were out in the wilderness and you're saying, Evangelist Samson, can you just bring it up to, you know, 2021? Because I don't know about you, but I haven't been in a wilderness. <laughs> okay, I get it. Okay, well, maybe you were in a bar. Uh huh. Maybe you were walking the streets at night. Uh huh. Yes. Maybe you were locked up in jail. Uh huh. Whatever it is that God has delivered you from, He said, Oh, that we would praise Him for His goodness and for His wonderful works, which He has shown unto us. Glory to God. And then, as I was reading, the word praise is mentioned 214 times, both in the New and Old Testament. My God. Come on, come on. Because praise is important. One of pastor's favorite scriptures, he reads out of Psalms 8, where he says that your praise will steal the hand of the enemy. Uh -huh. See, yeah. praise in definition is an expression of warm approval or admiration. Uh -huh. And so we know as Christians that we praise God because we thank him, because we admire him, because we know that he is king of kings. He is Lord of lords. Hallelujah. He is the first and the last. He is Alpha and Omega, uh huh. He's the beginning and he is the end. And if you're new to church, you would say, Okay, praise the Lord. 
And the mothers would help you by saying, go ahead, baby, and clap your hands. Uh -huh. Go ahead, sir, and thank him. And don't stop praising in him till you know that you're saved. Uh -huh. Don't stop praising in him until you feel better. And then it seems like we would be at the altar and then tears would begin to come down our eyes because we're, we're, we're giving God praise and we're giving God the glory. And, and here, and I put on this uh, screen here where it felt like the, the day you came to God, you might have felt like the walls were just crushing in on you and you didn't know what you were going to do and for some reason yeah. that morning you said I'm going to go to the altar and give it all to God because I can't do this by myself because Man. I'm barely breathing Lord it's like a person who has asthma and can't catch their breath Come but on. Lord I'm giving it to you this morning God so here I am at the altar oh God and you're praising God and saying Lord thank you for saving me and sometimes the mother would come and they would lay hands on your chest glory to God you. and they begin to break those things, Lord, Lord God, God. those demonic strongholds, uh -huh. and they would feel the pressure, and they would say, come on, daughter, release it, hey, glory to God, release it, come on, let it go, let it go, hallelujah, and I believe this morning, God is saying, hallelujah, your praise still counts, uh -huh. you got to understand that you got to release, hallelujah, some praise, glory to God, Amen. you got to give God some glory, hallelujah. you got to give God some praise, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Because God is saying, although the walls may look like they're crashing in, he said, if you just praise me, hallelujah, I'll bring you out. You got to talk to God about the times when he spared your life, uh -huh. when, you're, when you're giving your all to God, because it's one thing, glory to God, to, 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 to come to the altar and say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. But now start talking about them. Start telling God why I want forgiveness. Start telling God why you need to be forgiven because you don't want guilt to ride you the rest of your life You, because there's no condemnation in God. And so God is saying, talk to me. Talk to me. Glory to God. Saying, Lord, I thank you, God. I thank you for seeing me, God. I thank you for allowing me to come to church this morning, God. I thank you, God, and I praise you, God, because I was going through some things, not only with my family, but with my co-workers. God. Father, I've been going through some things in my body. Glory to God. But Lord, I praise you in spite of it all, God, because I need you, God, because Hallelujah. I give you the glory, God, and I know that prayer still changes things. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. So why praise God? That's why we praise God, so we can feel better. Glory to God. Amen. So that when we leave out of the church doors or when we leave out of this platform on this morning, we can say we've been with God. Amen. Amen. That we, glory to God, have had the opportunity, glory to God, to be with God. Praise God, glory to God. I'm just changing the slides just for one moment. Now, as I was continuing study and reading, I want to encourage you that no matter what your situation is, you can still praise God. And then I was reminded about Paul and Silas in the book of Acts in the 20, the 16th chapter and the 26th verse. See, it was late in the midnight hour. And we would always say late in the midnight hour, God will turn things around. around. That's Ooh, right. That's God. That's and right. so here, Paul and Silas is sitting up in jail. Come on. In jail, what did they do? Come on. They didn't do anything. All they were, were doing was just preaching and teaching Teach. the good news of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. But they caused an uproar in the city and people didn't like it so they took them and put them in jail and while they was in jail whoo, glory to God now some of us would have been complaining and moping and crying and said this is not right this is not fair I want it out but Paul and Silas taught us something here they said at midnight glory to God that, that they began to sing praises unto the Lord yes, they began Lord. to give God some praise at midnight they said um, Paul and Silas sang praises unto their God. Glory yes, to God. Lord. See, they didn't sit around saying, I can't wait till I get out of here. I'm going to go find me some people. We're going to come back and shoot y'all up. No, it wasn't about that. It was about them understanding their purpose. It was about them understanding that I'm here because God allowed it. Glory to God. And only, you can only go through things in life that God allowed. Hallelujah. Yes, and so they understood that God allowed it. And instead of moping and groaning, they begin to give God some praise. Woo! Have you ever been in a situation when your back is up against the wall Hallelujah. and you decided to give God praise instead of moping and groaning? You decided to say yes to God instead of moping and yes. groaning. And so we want to know we can praise God. We know we're in the midst of a pandemic, but Hallelujah. yet we're still going to praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Right. Because our Lord God is a strong tower and the righteous can run into it and we are Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. 
to God. And so, hallelujah, just don't, don't, don't feel like you got to sit around and mope. Yes, just Lord. know you can give it to God. Just give hallelujah. it to Jesus, saints. Just try Jesus. Prove me now, said the Lord. Prove the Lord. He said, command ye me, glory to God. Command yes. the Lord, hallelujah. Yes. We are living in an hour and time where people have to know that they know that they are saved and sanctified. They have to know that when they call upon the name of the Lord, he answers, glory to God. Why? Because your praise still counts, glory to God. Amen. Your praise still counts. And over in the seventh... Uh, in Psalms 107, if you continue to read along, he said he satisfieth the longing soul, soul. and he filleth the hungry soul with his goodness. Your praise still counts, glory to God. Your praise still counts, saints. You got to keep praising the Lord. You got to keep giving God the praise. I'm reminded of uh, Joshua with the the, uh, the Jericho power, what we put here up on the, the screen, glory to God. Y'all know about the, the power of uh, Joshua and the children of Israel. Y'all remember, hallelujah, what God told them to do? Well, if you don't remember, you can look it up in the Bible for yourselves. Glory to God. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you that it came out of Joshua. Glory to God. And I believe it was around the sixth chapter when God told them, hallelujah, glory to God. That I want you just to walk around the wall seven times. But on that seventh time, I want you to praise and worship me. Make a loud sound. And I'm going to allow the wall to come down. You don't even got to put your hands on the wall. All right, because now. I, the Lord, is going to give you a miracle this day. And see, sometimes in the midst of your trials and tribulations, you ought to say, I'm going to take the whole week and praise God. And right. when I get to that seventh day, glory to God, I'm going to shout hallelujah. I'm going right. to give God. All the praise, hallelujah! Thank hallelujah. And watch him turn my situation around. Glory to God. We just need some people that will praise God. See, we've been sitting too long talking about our issues and our trials. We've been sitting too long talking about what the doctor said and what you need to do. But let's talk about Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's talk about the scriptures. Hallelujah. When the man came to Jesus and he said, Lord, my, my soldier is sick. He can't even come and, and, and meet you. He said, but Lord, I believe that if you just say in a word, my servant shall be healed. And See, we got to get that type of faith back when we say, Hello. Lord, if you just yeah. speak, Lord, it'll come to pass. Uh huh. If you Hello. just speak, Lord, it'll be all right. We got to start talking about the word of yes. God. Thanks Hallelujah. God. Because it's sharper than any two edged sword. Yes, Hallelujah. The word of God is a lamp unto our pathway, yes. it's a light unto our feet. Glory to God. Yes. We got to talk about the word of God. Yes. Because yes. the interest of his word is our understanding. Hallelujah. We yes, gotta talk Lord. about the word of God. How many know your praise still counts? Man. I'm reminded of Joshua, or excuse me, uh, Jehoshaphat. And Jehoshaphat over in the second Chronicles 20 and 12, when they got into some trouble and the nations were coming against them and, and they didn't know what to do. My God. But Jehoshaphat began to talk to God and he said, Lord. Jesus, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are upon you, God. Come on. And instead of him crying and having a pity party, he began to talk to God and begin to find his strength in the Lord. Yes, and Lord. so the Lord said to Jehoshaphat, he said, you need not to fight in this battle. Come right? on, come he on. said, because I will, hallelujah, glory to God, bring you out. Hallelujah. hallelujah. And that's the thing God is trying to get to our attention today. He said, if you just talk to me and tell me about it, come if on. you would just cast your cares upon me, he said, you don't even have to fight in this battle. All right. He said, you can go to work on Monday and I can turn it around. See, that co-worker thought they had you up against the wall, huh? Yes, that Lord. boss thought that they had you where they want you. But yes. God can send them running. God can send your co-workers running. See, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a witness on that. Come on. I went through something on my job and one of the ladies, she just didn't like me. and But I stayed nice to her. And I kept praying and saying, God, help me, oh God. Yes, Every Lord. time I go into work, I would say, Say, God help me because you know you get those feelings in your belly sometimes and, and you don't know who who's talking about you and who's murmuring against you and you don't know who's on your side at work but I said God I'm not worried about any of them because if you be with me God I'll be all right yes Lord Hallelujah. a couple of months later the young lady 
What an old lady. <laughs> she put in her, her, her retirement. Glory to God. Woo! I watched God move her right out the way. Uh huh. See, God has a way, hallelujah, of moving people out of your way when they're hindering you from progress. Yes. When you're the woman of God and the man of God and you live in all that you know how from God, he says when a man's ways please the Lord, he'll make even his enemies be at peace with them. Yeah. Hallelujah. You That's probably right. say, I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. Glory to God. But Lord, I'm going to praise you anyhow, God. Lord, I'm going to lift you up anyhow, God. I'm going to praise you, God. Let the tears flow. Hallelujah. I'm going to praise you, God. Hallelujah. There's going to be some sleepless nights. But if I can't sleep, I'm going to praise you, God. I'm not going to turn on the TV. I'm not going to turn on the radio. But I'm going to build up my most holy faith by praying in the Holy Spirit. Yes, I'm going to Praise you, God. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. David praised God out of his glory. Yes. Glory to God. He danced before the Lord. He shouted before the Lord. Yes. Why? Because he was grateful for what God had done for him. Well, glory to God. So, saints, we got to understand, hallelujah, that if our praise still counts, all you have to do is give God some praise because your praise still counts. You can find where David danced himself out of his clothes in 2 Samuel 6 and 14. Woo! Glory to God. And I'm coming to a close, saints of God. But one more person I want to encourage you with, and that's Jonah. Jonah was disobedient to the Lord. The Lord told him to go over to this city and minister and to warn them. And Jonah said, no, I don't want to go. Because you have too much mercy on people. And how many know we're not the judge? God is the judge. When you come to say to serve ministries, Pastor always says, you know, it's a safe environment. We're not here to judge you. We just want to push you to be your best in Jesus. But Jonah got dis, uh, he disobeyed God. And because he disobeyed God, he saw death coming his way. Come on. Bring and it. as death began to come his way, he said, wait a minute, Lord. <laughs> and you can find this in the second chapter of Jonah, verses 7 and 9. And when he realized that he couldn't do it on his own and he couldn't make his way, that God was not going to allow him to do what he wanted to do, he said, when my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord. And, and your testimony might not be that you disobey God. You might just be in a fiery trial right now. You might be having a family member that is hurting and going through and it's hurting your heart. You may be up against some finances, uh, situations, whatever, some addictions, whatever it is. But you, when, but Jonah said, when my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord. And verse 9 says that, that, that he didn't stay there, but he said, I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanks. Giving. Woo! Glory to God. Because Jonah knew once he started giving God the praise, once he yes. started giving God the glory, yes. that God will make the trial go away. Hallelujah. Yes, and Hallelujah. a lot of times our situation may still be there, but God gives us another round to walk on. Glory to God. He'll let you walk in peace even though you're in the midst of a storm. Uh -huh. right. Why? Because Isaiah 26 and 3 said, I will keep you in perfect right. peace, whose mind is stayed on me. Glory to God. And the peace of God that passes all understanding, understanding shall keep your heart, heart and, and your mind. mind. So your praise still counts. Preach I dare you preach to it. praise God, hallelujah, in spite of. You can praise God walking down the grocery store. Come on, come you on. can praise God while you're on the airplane. You hallelujah. can praise God on those uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Oh, yeah. You can praise yes, God Lord. whenever you want to, glory to God, because your praise still counts. They taught us God, hallelujah, yes. they taught us through hard trials and tribulations that if you just give God the praise, hallelujah, yes. that all, oh, hallelujah, and everything will work out. If you don't want to praise him, don't hinder me. Glory come on, to come God. On, come come on. on, put those hands together and give God some praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The praise still counts. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The praise still counts. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. When God Thank said, Jesus. let everything that has breath praise the Lord, because your praise still counts. Wesley Duell said it like this. Faith comes through God's word and through praise. All right. Faith grows as you praise the Lord. Amen. We grow in God through praise. 
There's a maturity that comes through praise because you realize I don't have to cry about it. That's right. You realize that I don't have to mope about it because my God is bigger. Amen. You have to understand that God's hand is bigger than your hand. That's right. You have to understand, saints of God, that God will work it out. Yes. It doesn't matter to God how big it is or how little it is. He will work it out. But it's up to us to have some perseverance, some patience, to stay the course until he works it out. But while he's working it out, hallelujah. What's the son said? Don't wait till the battle is over. You can shout now. Hallelujah. So I'm not going to wait till the battle is over, but I can shout now. Why? Because my praise still counts. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Amen. I trust that you've been blessed by the word. I trust that it was that 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 you were able to understand it, whether if you're in kindergarten or whether you're 90 years old. Glory to God. Amen. Your praise still counts. Remember that all week. Whenever the enemy tries to come in, whatever situation may come up against you this week, your praise still counts. Let's praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. At this time, we're going to do an altar call. Pastor is coming. And we want you to know that God loves you. That it's not by chance that you're watching this this morning. Because somebody needed to know that their praise still counts. Somebody needed to know if I just praise God, I'll feel better. If I just praise God, breakthrough will come. Praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. We love you. I love you. And again, I thank you for giving me this opportunity to minister unto you today. Hallelujah. And just continue to remember that your praise still counts. Your praise still counts. Glory to God, right there where you're at at home. Hallelujah. Come on and give God some praise. Praise him because your praise still counts. Come on, Pastor. Your praise still counts. Glory to God. Your praise still counts. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you. Thank After you, a Jesus. word like that, Thank you, Jesus. I only have but one question. Thank you, Jesus. If you're Hallelujah, not already Jesus. saved, Hallelujah. If you haven't already accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, Thank you, Jesus. I only have one question. Do you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior today? Thank you, Jesus. For the Bible teaches us in Romans chapter number 10, verse number 9, that if thou shalt confess the Lord Jesus with thy mouth and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou, me, and you, shall be saved. Amen? Yes, amen. So for those who said, I, I used to be saved, uh -huh. or for those who may say, well, I, I think I need a do-over. And for those who say, well, I've never truly given to God 100% of myself in any way, shape, or fashion. Uh -huh. I want you to repeat this with me. Thank you, Jesus. Say this with me. Father in heaven. Father in heaven. I believe that Jesus died for me. I believe that Jesus died for me. I ask that you would forgive me of my sin. I ask that you would forgive me of my sin. And save me. And save me. From this day forward. From this day forward. Walk with me, God. Walk with me, God. And talk with me. And talk with me. And I will give you access into my heart. And I will give you access to my heart. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If you believe that and you receive it, somebody shout amen right amen. there. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. It's like getting Jesus. baptized. Yes. And you go down Thank in the water. Yes. Hallelujah. And now you're coming back up again. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Go down a wet devil and come up a dry saint. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes. Yes. If you recited that simple little prayer with me, Thank you, Jesus. then according to Luke 15 and 7. Uh -huh. And I want you to go read it for yourself. Yeah. There's a party going on in heaven in your honor. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 And I'm excited even about your future. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So go with God this morning. Yeah. And, and if Hallelujah. you got saved, then we want to know about it. Go to our website, savedandserving.org. Yes. Look down in the left hand corner of the screen. Mm -hmm. You'll see a bunch of different options. Click on salvation video. Yeah. And then underneath the salvation video, click submit feedback and yes. let us know you got saved. Fill out the form. Yes. We want to walk with you. Yes. Through Hallelujah. this whole process. Hallelujah.